it doesn't work like that yeah one of the things that we spoke about earlier is that you know you've got a great social media presence yeah. where you, you share your thoughts yeah. you share insights how important is for you you know um you've you are working and achieving your financial goals and your life goals how important is it for you to have a voice over and above what you're doing in your business or what you're doing in the economic space but just to be a thought leader how important is it for you and why okay i i have seen that those we also borrow and learn from those who are there ahead of us and uh, if you are to check uh, you know great leaders world over they also have a huge social media following it's not just new to people in zimbabwe to say i know but i know these bingers these big <laughs> people they don't do social media that that's a lie just check all the great leaders they have social media platforms also and i believe um you know we need to get known get known whilst you are in the rural areas get known you know crying being crushed when things are not working out get known don't wait for the right moment to be known why i'm saying that we have people when investors are you know zimbabwe is a blessed nation despite what we are going through that's my belief a time is going to come not in, in so distant future very soon a time is going to come where we are going to have investors you know coming in numbers in mass to invest in zimbabwe very soon so if you are strategically positioned automatically you will go far so whatever you are doing or you have started doing just just do it even at small scale the time will come where you then the, the, it will pay off and back to the social media you know issue and presence investors when they are coming they invest not only in the business but the ideas are just the same why would someone want to give you taku money? They are giving you because of relationships and because of the good name. So people invest, they invest in a good name and in relationships. So if you do build yourself maybe a good social media presence uh, where you have a huge following and you're posting content that makes sense, you know, no scandals and stuff, that alone, it will help you. I have had contracts coming, you know, for my, all my companies, if you have to check, my construction company, over 80% of all the sales, they come through, through me. Not that I go to look for jobs, for sales. People, they come through my inbox. I've seen people, you know, that I've never met giving us contracts, big contracts, you know. Mm. Even for a tech company, contracts are coming because of relationships, because people, they know me. They say, we go for a meeting for a pitch. After a pitch, we are committing with other people. When you are now working, they say, you know what? I know you from LinkedIn. I like what you post on LinkedIn. Mm. So automatically, I'm already in age ahead because we are living in a digital era and we, we are so much I mean maybe a step ahead if you have to compare to the SIA entrepreneurs remember those guys they had it hard you know the likes of Stripe they didn't have social media mm. so you, you, you had to they had to work maybe 10 times more than what you are doing right now with social media you reach networks and markets that you would have not reached without social media so I think that's the best way to go if you're an entrepreneur or if you want to go far with your career. Um, one, of, one of the things we do on the Young Money Show and the, why we have people like you on here is that we are trying to breed, a, you know, um, appreciation of real entrepreneurs and real business people in Zimbabwe, the real bingas, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Right. So who would you say, uh, not to put you on the spot, do you have anyone who you could say uh, in Zimbabwe, a young person, that you feel is, is doing it right or or that is working hard and you know is really commendable the work that they're doing in the country okay yeah i know it's so tricky because i know quite a number of young people who are really putting structures for so for me i always say to people for me from where i'm seated i see success not as money the money you have accumulated i've seen people maybe saying selling one two three maybe diamonds or gold or whatever they make maybe a million tomorrow they don't have anything why because they didn't invest in structures or they were fortunate enough to be in the circles of people who are doing that or some people you know, getting a tender because of political connection one tender worth five million they start buying cars and start you know you know finger pointing other people to say who are working hard to say you, are, you don't have anything because you're working for someone you don't have this and stuff but because they were just privileged to get one tender you know and not because they're they're entrepreneurs no they are not they just got an opportunity which is okay but when you are looking at people who have sustainable structures that will outlive them we have quite a number of other people some of them they are just quiet they they are not known 
but I know quite a number of people who have sustainable structures, systems, they have department, finance department, you know, HODs and stuff, watertight systems, everyone is on salary, the CEO is on salary also. Those are the people I look up to to say, you know, this is it now, this is the entrepreneurship. And automatically, if you take the owner out, the company at least will go, will go forward with the like of Tinashe Mtaris is no longer under 40, but he has put structures, you know, in his businesses. If you had to check his businesses, he has step, stepped aside and some other people, experts, they're they running his businesses and he's mm -hmm. diversified his portfolio. And, um, the, you know, Samuel, you're talking about Samuel Demero, almost same age with us and, you know, is that we, we are friends actually. These are people whom I also say, you know what, they are trying and stuff. They are not out there, but they are working hard to put structures. And if you have to check these people, there's that, that young lady, she just started. But if she maintains the same structure, uh, yeah. Yanaya, yes, yes, Nyari, yes. Mm -hmm. if she maintains the same, you know, trajectory, I'm sure these are businesses, I, I bet you to say, next five years, will be having the next big corporates, you know, operating in different countries, you know. Yeah. Mm. It's a model that actually has a formula to it. Absolutely. Uh, no, that's yeah. good to hear. Yeah. And um, just you, one, one thing that's very important is mentorship. Mm. I think you are a mentor to many. Do you, do you have any mentors, whether local or, you know, online? Or who do you look up to as a business person and say, this is a model, this is a structure for my personal life and for my corporate life that I'd like to emulate? Yeah, no, talking of mentorship, uh, I know it's, it's, it's actually an interesting conversation that I always have with a number of other young people. And for me, it helped me. When I started business, I lost initially. I bought my car. I ended up losing the bulk of the things I've worked for because I didn't have mentorship. And I was young, coming from college and stuff. But with mentorship, you will go far. I always say to people, if you are, if you are privileged to just carry books for Strive Massey, what you say, I want you to say to shadow me. And you start carrying his briefcase for two years it you it will take a lot of uh china and you know this whole lot of things for you not to be worth maybe a million why because the, the people whom you allow in your life and around you will determine how far you go so for me i appreciated that at a young age and in 2010 i was a very young boy i had the privilege to be mentored by uh, mr Nkala. since 2010 he had He's a big guy. We, not, we are not related by blood. I actually approached him. I was very young. I was telling him uh, some week, a week ago or so. To say, you know, I say you believed in me. You risk everything to mentor someone like me. You know, you didn't know me. I was very raw from college. You know, I made a lot of mistakes, but it was so tolerant. You come and sit me down and say, you know what? This is not it. You have to do A, B, C, D. So mentorship is very, very important. So it's one person who has been mentoring me. We have Mr. Mataranyika. I want to be like him, to be bigger than him. You know, I want to be bigger than Ken Sharp when it comes to property development. Why? Because I have a reference. You know, a person who has a reference has, should have much advantage than the person who didn't have a reference. Mm. So I have a reference, so I'm standing on their shoulders. So because I'm standing on their shoulders, I will see a bit far than they have seen. So I, that's what I, I believe. If you get someone, and the challenge you make also, you just want to be mentored by people who have made money, who are not in your field, or the line of deficiency. Because you have to be mentored in areas that you are not doing well or in in the line of your business interests so i have people in different mentors some they teach me financial you know understanding and appreciation some how to raise capital that's the stage i aim at so i look for people who are good at raising capital to go to the likes of shingim to say to you have built join a city but you're saying your your share awarding for that maybe is less than 50 percent who funded you? How did you do it? They will talk about pension funds, international investors. So by doing so, you say, how can I do it also? It will be much easier for me to raise capital because of them. So mentorship is very, very, very key. And, uh, you know, I am so glad that we've had you throughout the show today. And unfortunately, time is uh, unfortunately coming to intrude in the amazing chat that we've had. But before you go, of all your experiences, of all the work that you've, you've put in, all the joys, all the triumphs, all the tribulations. What would you say is the one truth or the one lesson that you can pass on to a young person who's sitting at home right now listening to this interview and they see themselves 10 years, 15 years from now sitting in your chair? What can you share with them? I, I think um, I, I also outlined that in, in the book that I launched uh, uh, last month. 
I can say and from the interactions I've had with a number of other successful people that I was privileged to just meet them your background it doesn't matter it doesn't matter where you are coming from and at what state of life are you at right now what because when you start pursuing your, your goals your purpose and your god-given destiny automatically everything will conspire to your advantage you know the water will actually conspire to your advantage everything around you will start working you know to to your advantage so it's not easy you face challenges but you if you keep pushing automatically it will give in it's just the will of time yes <laughs> Rinos, thank you so much for being on the show today i really appreciate having your time you know this is something i really wanted to make happen and you're a guy that i look up to and um truly honored and humbled to have had you in the studio today thank you Taku. the pleasure is mine my name is Taku david this has been the young money show you can tune into the young money show every wednesday at quarter past seven we were chatting to young people like rhinos that are making a change in their lives one day one deal at a time i'm out